Hey guys and welcome back to Pixel Cherry Ninja's channel. In today's video we're going to have a look at some releases for the Unlock Pocket and some new releases and some releases that were uh, previously in beta are now publicly available uh, to you know non-patron subscribers of Otago. So let's start with Bubble Bobble. Guys this game is a banger right. I have a soft spot for single screen platformers and as far as I'm concerned Bubble Bobble is the granddaddy of them. Uh, from the time I was allowed out by myself you know not accompanied by an adult or my parents uh, this is one of the first games i used to watch and love in the arcade i played it a few times i used to watch a guy that was in a local arcade to me who was absolutely brilliant at this game the guy pretty much used to one cc the game absolutely amazing and guys the music for this the soundtrack for this is one of the best gaming soundtracks ever in fact the main theme for bubble bubble is something that i rocked as my ringtone for a number of years now the arcade version for me is always the best version but it was plenty of good home ports for the of this game as well it also had sequels or even kind of like a spin-offs you could call them right rainbow islands one of my favorite games was uh, essentially the story of bubble bubble 2 then we had stuff like parasol stars i mean the games got the games just had a lot of spin-offs the puzzle bubble series you know if you want a puzzle puzzle game with the with bub and bob in there shooting bubbles uh, matching colors you have got that uh, most recently i remember buying a title for the switch i think it was called bubble bubble for friends it was released a few years ago but you know what i've got a soft spot for this and it's amazing that it's available as a public release now on your analog pocket use your updater it should be available it should fetch it for you and you can play this without being a patron subscriber uh, now this call has uh, a couple of games in there right so the first one is what, we, what we're looking at over here bubble bubble guys <laughs> yeah all right before i move over to the next one uh, so in this one here i can't remember i think you spelled the word extend if memory serves me correct right so you spell that word that gets you if i remember correctly a power up but i remember other games after that kind of following that trend like i think rodland so you spell like different words in there but guys seriously go play this now if you haven't played it already i'm, I'm pretty sure most of you guys will know this but uh, the bubble bubble series timeline i'm just looking at wikipedia here right so uh, this may not even include all the games but 1986 you had bubble bubble 1987 rainbow islands 1991 parasol stars 1993 bubble bubble part 2 1994 bubble symphony that's a fantastic game that's on the Tato f3 and currently available to play on the sega saturn if you don't have access to f3 hardware then 1996 we have bubble memories 2005 rainbow islands revolution and bubble bubble revolution 2006 bubble bubble evolution 2007 bubble bubble double shot and rainbow islands evolution 2009 bubble bubble plus uh, and 2009 as well rainbow islands towering adventure and in 2019 bubble bubble for friends now this doesn't include any of the puzzle bubble games likely it's got the same amount of game releases guys honestly like try this out now the hardware this is on is uh it's tato hardware so it's, it's tato bubble bubble hardware and there's only one additional game on there and that game is called tokyo not like the city tokyo this one is spelled t-o-k-i-o also known as scramble formation now guys this is a shmup um, and to be completely honest, I never played it in the arcade, so I don't have any nostalgia. I don't really have any major love for it. It's not something that I really am. I, don't, I mean, I'm not criticizing the game. I'm sure if you guys played it in the arcade and this was something you played, um, you know, when you were young, you would like it. Personally, yeah, I don't really feel much for this. This is just a byproduct of Bubble Bubble. It's something that I would only ever boot up to shoot the shoot a video for, and that's it. I have no intention of playing it again. But don't let me stop you from trying it out. You know, what I like, you may dislike, and what you may dislike i may like like for example i like rastan 2 right everyone hates that game i like it so the important thing is guys we have got choices right choices are important and you know it's what you like is what you like i tried getting on with um scramble formation guys really it it, it just wasn't for me it's a shmup you get these power-ups it kind of they kind of like add those options and other things around and you can uh, press a button which kind of uses your power-ups as a bomb to sacrifice them i don't like the rate of fire in this game it, 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 yeah anyway like do try it out let me know what you think of it let me know if you played it in the arcade am i completely wrong am i missing something or do i need to play it a different way and i really don't know yeah i really don't know in, enlighten me right and now 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 we're moving over to the latest uh beta release right so this is not publicly available at this moment in time it's only available if you are a supporter of hotega over on patreon so this game is known as mx5000 
and uh, also flak attack now this is based on the konami contra based hardware uh, so you know the original contra was on this hardware um so yeah or grizel as it's uh, known as well i didn't really know um yeah i had no idea it was called grizel until like years and years later but yeah that's the hardware it's on guys and this is um this is a shmup again now again i'm not the biggest fan of this because the first time i played this uh even though it's available on the mister i never tried it out because it wasn't a game i played growing up i tried it for the first time when shooting this video and honestly like it's a shmup maybe like uh like a scramble formation if i was around when this was around in the arcade and i played it i may have had some love for it but going into it now i mean for me personally there's a lot more uh, vertical shmups that i prefer one thing that i dislike about it is your rate of fire like you can there's only a certain number of bullets you can uh, release at once so if you press fire too quickly there'll be a pause in between and I, I generally found it quite difficult i have to say though this game does have something unique when i did get to the first boss it kind of turned into rather than just a scrolling shmup i could navigate or move my uh, ship around around the level i mean I've, I've done a terrible job of it right but i tried it out now i know many people are going to like this because you know what what you guys enjoyed in the arcade it's something i may have completely missed in the arcade always interested in arcade stories i always say it in my videos uh, but that's really it for this video guys bubble bubble be uh, going public is really the biggest news uh, the other games you know i mean like they're not bad like tokyo again not a bad game just not something for me and the latest beta mx5000 like i said not something for me but i'm sure many of you guys will like it uh, so you know if you want beta access consider supporting holtega over on patreon you know you get to uh, you get to fund fpga core development and you get access to a whole bunch of games easy but uh, that's really it for this video guys i really really do hope uh, you enjoyed it if you did thumbs up subscription all that good stuff is super duper appreciated be awesome to one another guys this is pixel cherry ninja out